Welcome, I'm Mr. Kennedy of Kennedy Teaching, and today we're going to focus on unsquaring numbers. Now you're probably wondering, what am I talking about with unsquaring numbers? Well, in my previous video we talked about square numbers, and where we design arrays that have the same row and same column. But let's take a little bit of a deeper look at that and what exactly it means. A square number, as we know it, A square number has an array that has the same number of rows as columns, or in other words, we looked at 3 by 3 equaled 9, and we also took a look at 4 times 4, which equals 16. This representing our rows, and this representing our columns and our arrays. But as you can see, it's just the same number multiplying with itself. In math, we have a short way to write this. 3 times 3 can also be written as 3 squared equals 9, or 4 squared equals 16. Now you're probably thinking, I've seen this symbol somewhere else. Where have I seen that symbol? Well, most often you've seen that symbol with area, where you've had centimeters squared. So you should remember having heard it like that. So we're going to use that same symbol because what it is, is very simple. It's saying we got a square here. This 3 is being squared. It's being multiplied with itself. 3 squared is the same thing as 3 times 3. So let's look at that more closely actually. It's 3 times 3 equals 3 squared. 4 times 4 equals 4. 4 squared, which these both equal 9, and then 16. So all this is the same. 3 times 3, 3 squared, and 9, 4 times 4, 4 squared, 16, all are the exact same thing. So you're probably going, well, you said we're going to unsquare them. Yes, so that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at going, instead of going in this direction, we're going to look at going backwards in this direction. So let's look at how to unsquare a number. And let's go with what we already know. We're going to start with the basics. Let's say we have 9 here. This is a square number. We talked about it last time. It is a square number, and we want to unsquare it. Well, let's look at it written like this. m squared equals 9. So if we break it down, now we can unsquare it. See, m is the number we're going to unsquare to. We're going to unsquare 9 so we can figure out what m is. Well, let's break this down even further. m times m equals 9. And we should know variables in an equation will fill the exact same thing. So m times m, so it's a number times itself equals 9. What number times itself equals 9? Well, we know that in this case, m must equal 3. So 3 times 3 equals 9. Thus we can say that the square root of 9 is m. Look at that word right there. Square root of 9 is 3. Let's look at that word. Square root. Now we know roots as in plants is the very base, the bottom of it, the part that holds it all to that is that it's the root. It goes in the ground. It's the inside. And we've also heard this word root when we're talking about root words. So you think and we think about root words when we're talking about language. So in square root it works similarly to that in math. So if I want to say the square root and let's look at the symbol, the square root symbol is this. Probably seen that before. Looks like a little heartbeat monitor sign. This is a square root symbol. So if I say find the square root of 16. Let's find the square root of 16. That's what this is saying. I'm essentially just asking you to find out 
what m squared equals 16. Find m. That's all I'm asking you to do. And that, in this case, when I say find squared is 16, I'm writing it out as m squared equals 16 and find m. Well, we know if you break it down again, m times m equals 16. m must be 4 because 4 times itself equals 16. Thus, the square root of 16 equals 4. Now you're probably wondering, why does it equal 4 times 4? Why is the square root not 4 times 4? Well, because we're looking at the root number. And the root number in this is 4. 4 squared equals 16. 4 is the root of it. It's the root number that's being squared. So that's what we want to take note of. So let's do one more just to make sure we got it all. And let's look, focus on a larger number, 36. I want to find the square root of 36. M squared equals 36. So what number squared equals 36? What number times itself? Well, that's one of our basic facts. We should know that 6 times 6 equals 36 which must mean that 6 squared equals 36. 6 is the root, so the square root of 36 equals 6. That's about it for unsquaring numbers. If you have a calculator, you will actually find that square root key on the calculator. So make sure you use it if you have the, um, that available to you, and it'll make it easier for you to find the square root of large numbers. Not every number has a square root, at least not a whole number. You'll get square roots with decimals in it later on if you start doing numbers that are not square numbers. So all we're focusing on right now is square numbers so that when you, when you find a square root of them, they'll have a whole number for you. Examples that we've seen so far are 9, 16, and 36. And there's a lot more than that. So catch you next time. We're out.